Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. While it's known that I have some misgivings surrounding Nintendo, the fact of the matter is Nintendo knows how to make a game or two, and they know how to put on a good show. And today Nintendo has a double feature for us. Both Indie World and Nintendo Partner Direct. Today there will be no Nintendo games, but instead we'll be talking about games coming to PC. And for those games already on PC, we'll kind of just gloss over them. The first game on this list is Bellatro. While Bellatro is a game that's already on PC, we're also getting a brand new announcement. Bellatro crossovers. There's one for Among Us, The Witcher 3, Survivors, and Dave the Diver. I don't really know if this will bring any meaningful gameplay differences, but it is nice to have. It's also free as well, so why not, right? And yes, the update released today. The next game is Neva, and I'm pretty sure I've seen this game already. Yes, this game is coming to PC and releases sometime in August. It looks pretty cool, I want to give it a shot. Moth Kuba is built as a sort of corporate RPG where it takes place in a corporate environment. I'm not really sure what to make of this game until I actually get this in my hands, but on the onset it looks pretty interesting. And yes, this is also coming to Steam as well, and it releases sometime in spring of next year. Next up is Coffee Talk. You know, I'm gonna level with you, I think Valhalla is a better version of Coffee Talk. But for those that enjoy the Coffee Talk games, this is coming to Nintendo Switch and PC sometime in 2025. Sea of Stars is getting a DLC. This is a game that's already on PC, and yes, it's already on Nintendo Switch as well, but it is a DLC nonetheless. This is a free DLC releasing sometime in spring of next year. Power Watch Simulator is getting a free Shrek pack. Shrek 1 is like one of the greatest movies ever made. You should watch it if you haven't. Morsels is stated to be a creature collecting roguelike, something like, I don't know, Pokemon but an action roguelike? It's kind of hard to imagine, but... Again, I'm willing to give it a chance. This is one of those things that really has to be played to be believed. I'm not entirely sure how this will shake out in the end, but it does look promising. This game is set to be released sometime in February. Date Everything is a game with a hundred different dateable characters, and I guess you select who you date by just looking at an object and pressing A? I'm not entirely sure. That said, the art style is not really my thing, but it is coming to PC for those that are interested. This game is set to be released sometime in October. October the 24th. You know, one of the cool things about these showcases is I find out about games that already existed that I never knew about. Things like this game right here called Peglin. This looks like a indie version of Peggle, and I love Peggle, man. It's supposed to be releasing on Nintendo Switch sometime today, but does that mean 1.0 is coming out today as well on PC? Because this game is still in early access on PC. But anyways, this game looks like a lot of fun, so I want to give it a shot. Wobbly Life is an unusual walking simulator where walking is physics based and it becomes difficult to walk, which leads to a lot of funny things happening. And surprise surprise, this game's been out on PC for a couple of years now, so yeah. Pico Park is like a local co-op multiplayer game. You can play with up to 8 players locally, which is pretty crazy and sounds like it's really hard to manage, but you know, part of the fun is the chaos. Apparently Pico Park 2 releases on Nintendo Switch today, but PC won't get it until sometime in September. Shovel Knight is getting a brand new updated re-release called Shovel Knight Shovel of Hope DX. New accessibility features, new gameplay modifiers, and brand new characters. Europa was already announced, but now there's a demo available if you want to give this game a shot. Quizneer is a game that's kind of like a lighter and softer version of Hades, and yes, it's already on PC. But you'll be able to buy the Nintendo Switch version sometime in January. On your tail is supposed to be a sort of narrative driven life sim. If you're interested in trying it out, there's a demo available. With this game releasing sometime in November. Metal Slug Tactics is a pretty neat direction for Metal Slug, but to be honest with you, I would prefer an actual Metal Slug title. You know, the running guns. This game is set for release sometime in fall. The Plucky Squire has you transitioning between pop-up books and the real world quote unquote. And this game releases sometime next month. Pizza Tower is getting a Switch port and releases sometime today, but it's already on PC. And that about covers Indie World. No major announcements, no Silk Song as per usual, no major new announcements either, with all of these announcements being games that were already on PC or games that were already announced at some point. But now we can get to the main show, the Nintendo Partner Showcase. The first of which is Tetris Forever. It looks like a compilation of multiple different Tetris games. Really old Tetris games. You know, I don't really know much about Tetris besides how to play it. But I mean, wait, that was a Tetris 2? What? 
That's crazy. Anyways, yes, this is coming to PC, and yes, this comes with 15 different Tetris titles. But the big question is, are any of these Tetris the Grandmaster Challenge? Anyways, this is supposed to release sometime this year. Star Overdrive looks interesting. It's a sort of action-adventure game where you action adventure on a hoverboard fighting against bosses and traversing via your hoverboard. It looks like it could be like a combination of like an action adventure game with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, but that really depends on the hoverboard mechanics. And I will say, it does look pretty sick. It's supposed to be released sometime next year. And yes, it's on PC. Goat Simulator 3 is a game that's already on PC, and it runs pretty well on Steam Deck already. The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, the first, is a full remake of the first game. Unfortunately, it's only been announced for Nintendo Switch, but maybe we'll get a PC version later. Star Wars Hunter is a third-person action game that's not available on anything but Nintendo Switch and mobile. You know, like your phones. Stalker Legends of the Zone is a re-release of the original Stalker trilogy. I do wish these re-releases came to PC though with their added features. Worms Armageddon is getting a brand new remaster called the Anniversary Edition with enhanced graphics and quality of life features. No PC announcements just yet. Disney Dreamlight Valley is a game that's already on PC, and there's a new in-game event coming soon. We're getting a brand new Spongebob game, and this one stars Patrick Starr, the lovable idiot. While there's no entry on Steam, the game is coming to Steam as confirmed by the developers on their own official website, and this game releases on October the 4th, 2024. Fitness Boxing 3, like the other fitness boxing games, are going to be Switch exclusive, and I mean it makes sense, you use the Joy-Cons to literally move them left and right, you know, motion inputs. Capcom is bringing even more of their classic fighting games to everyone but Xbox. This right here is Capcom Fighting Collection 2. It has Capcom vs SNK 1 and 2, Capcom Fighting Jam, the sequel to Rival Schools known as Project Justice, Power Stone 1 and 2, and an updated version of Street Fighter Alpha 3, based on the later home console versions I mean. If you want Capcom to ever make a Capcom vs SNK 3, then buy this now. This game is set to release sometime next year. And on the topic of Capcom Fighters, they announced a release date for Marvel vs Capcom Fighting Collection, which releases in September. And of course, we get a brand new Atelier game, Atelier Yumiya. Honestly, I've never played the Atelier games, but maybe I should. While this game doesn't have an entry on Steam, it is coming to Steam sometime in 2025. Early 2025 to be honest. They're also remastering Suikoden 1 and 2, and to be honest, I've never played either of those games. I've never played a single Suikoden game. It's weird seeing Konami come back to life after basically abandoning the games industry. Suikoden 1 and 2 Remastered releases in March of 2025. And on the topic of classic RPGs getting re-releases, Dragon Quest 3 also has one. I think we've talked about this one before. The Dragon Quest 3 remake is releasing in November of this year. And on the topic of Konami coming back to life, they're bringing us Castlevania The Dominus Collection, featuring all of the Castlevanias available on DS. These games are the only reason why I have my DS around. Well, that and the Mega Man ZX titles. In addition to these three DS games, they're giving us Haunted Castle and a totally remade version of this game as well. And yes, a bunch of artwork and music you can play as well. For the DS games, they've added a number of different quality of life updates. And you know, surprise surprise, this game was released sometime today. In fact, I already got the game. Civ 7 was already announced and I'm surprised it's even coming to Nintendo Switch. I didn't think this game would run on Switch, but I don't know, here we are. Civ 7 releases February of next year. Tales of Graces F is a remastered version of Tales of Graces F, which was a PS3 port of an older Tales game. I'm not going to pretend that I know a lot about the Tales games, but I have played Tales of Vesperia. And while this doesn't have a Steam entry, this is also coming to PC. And this game releases in January of next year. My Sims is a Sims spin-off that was released on the Wii and Nintendo DS. As far as I'm aware, there aren't any plans to release this on PC, which is kind of unusual for EA, but I don't know. Five Nights at Friday's Help Wanted 2 is a game that's already on PC. And Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is getting a brand new DLC called Ruin. Epic Mickey Rebrushed was already announced and is coming sometime next month. I'm not sure if anyone asked for a cozy Lord of the Rings game, but I mean here it is, Tales of the Shire. And it's supposed to be releasing sometime this holiday. Yes, we're getting a new Just Dance game. I don't know what to say, it's coming in October. 
Let me get this out of the way. Funkos are ugly and they're horrible. Please stop buying Funko Pops, please. And of course the Switch is getting a brand new, well, quote unquote, brand new soccer game. EA Sports FC, because they're not allowed to call it FIFA anymore. And of course LEGO Horizon has the potential to be the best Horizon game, better than the mainline entries, releasing sometime this holiday season. Rune Factory, Guardians of Ozma. I've never played any of the Rune Factory games, but I mean, they seem nice. It's supposed to be coming sometime in spring of 2025. The Rune Factory games do look interesting, so I might have to pick up one of these before I pick up this one. And of course, the Switch is getting Yakuza Kiwami, which is a remake of the first Yakuza game. And this game's been on PC forever at this point. So all in all, Nintendo put up a great show. A lot of great announcements, a couple of great indies, and even some great re-releases. Stuff like the Castlevania games, and some of the Capcom fighting games, it's right up my alley. So all in all, most of these games will run on Steam Deck. And I mean, these games are coming to Switch too, so there's no reason why these couldn't run on the Steam Deck well. The internet might have exploded a little too hard if Silk Song came as well, but it's whatever. I'm satisfied. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.